Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Michael, helping you get the most out of your Apple devices. And today I have a quick report for you on battery life on iOS 12 developer beta 6. So although it's not as good as iOS 11.4.1 is, because that's a public release, uh, here on a beta, it's actually not that bad. So my previous video I made where I talked about how stable iOS 12 is, uh, that is still true. This is the best battery life I have ever had on my iPhone running a beta. And that really is true on beta 6, like I said, although not quite as good as the public release right now of iOS 11. So one thing that Apple did change in iOS 12 beta is they took away the beta uh, tag here next to battery health. I think they did this in uh, iOS 12 beta 5. So I don't really know the technicalities behind it. Apple apparently changed something in the code or they perfected it just enough. So now they feel that they can remove that beta tag from battery health. Really, this isn't that helpful on newer devices like mine, but if you have an older phone like the iPhone 5S, this may be useful to see uh, your battery health. And Apple is now giving you the option to throttle your phone. So if you want uh, maximum performance and you want your battery to drain faster, they will now uh, let you do that if you have an older phone. So on my iPhone 10 here, I was noticing some issue where I have an application that's tracking my GPS and I only have it set to track my GPS when I'm actually using the application. But when I killed the application in the background like this, it was still tracking my location. So I don't think that that setting is uh, completely locked in. And I think that's a glitch on iOS 12. So this was using a lot of battery, uh, as you can see here today on my phone. You can see here that it used... Um, 11% uh, of my battery. So that's, that's not good. That's something Apple needs to fix. So if you have GPS tracking set to always allow, it will do this. But if you have it set to only allow while using the app, uh, if you kill the app in the background, it should not be tracking your location. Uh, and it did do that. So uh, that is something to look out for on iOS 12 beta 6. One thing that I am noticing is getting a lot more efficient is background app refresh. So I just want to leave this on just to see how my battery would be. And surprisingly, I left background app refresh on for Wi-Fi and for cellular uh, for all my applications. And battery life has not, have, uh, has not had that big of a hit. On iOS 11, if I left this on, my battery would be at 20% by the end of the day. And now my battery is at 60% uh, after a quick top off. So it would be at like 40%. So apparently Apple is doing some fixes with the, uh, the code or something, some efficiency changes. And uh, background app refresh now is working a lot better and a lot more efficient. So um, that's kind of the whole idea of iOS 12, making your phone work more efficient and more smooth. So you guys can tell me in the comments below what your experience has been with iOS 12 battery. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. My name is Mike. I'll see you in the next video.